Sydney Fish Market is, is a much-loved icon, and what makes that really important, I think, is the authenticity of the market. You've got the fishing boats coming in, you've got the wholesale auction happening, guys pushing barrows around in gum boots and things like that. So it makes their visit to the market feel like a really authentic visit to a working fishing port. Yeah, it's, it's the biggest seafood market in the Southern Hemisphere, so it's obviously a bit of an attraction. Beautiful position, I love sitting out here on the waterfront. Well, it is an old building and uh, you know nothing much has changed in a lot of years, so it'd be good to just give it a bit of a facelift. The fish markets, I think, is probably something that could be improved considerably. I think it's something that's for many years just hasn't sort of been what it should be, I think. So I think something, an upgrade there would improve the area quite considerably. Having been past the fish markets a lot, I think we find it's probably one of the biggest eyesores, you know, this entire area. When you've got the park right next to it, and then you look at it and it's like, it just looks unloved and underdeveloped. At the moment, it is a great daytime experience, but it's closed in the evening and it could be one of the Sydney's best evenings out for a family. And we can join in and link the, the uh, Darling Harbour through the Sydney Fish Market to the rest of the Bay's precinct. So link it all together, it's a great opportunity. The key points of our vision for the future is maintain authenticity, keep the uh, fishing fleet, the wholesale, the retail together, but build on that. I think the Bay's Precinct Urban Renewal Program is a fabulous opportunity for Sydney and uh, Australia even.